everyone. Today's video I will be showing the new uh, Celestial set from Social Claws. These are a magnetic uh, pigment. We have Beauty on the left, which is a magenta and a bronzy gold shift, and Bliss on the right, which is a teal and purple shift. Gorgeous, gorgeous magnetic cat eye uh, pigments. Um, and I'll be showing you this design that I posted a short video of on uh, my social media and uh, we'll show you how just how easy it is to achieve that look. With your package of your pigments you will get a bar magnet. It's quite strong and she does provide a plastic spacer. Um, I believe she said it holds up to 55 pounds so if you were to stick that magnet onto a metallic surface without the spacer you'd find it probably quite difficult to remove it and it can cause pinching of the skin if you're not careful so having that spacer will help if you're going to store this on a metallic surface somewhere. You also receive a plastic ring palette you can either mix it separately and put it into your palette afterwards or you can mix them right into the cup. That's a handy little gadget there. And she also provides a brush and sponge tool. I use that brush actually quite a bit. I do like them. And a finger cot is provided. Since these are duochromes you could actually apply it um, like other multi-chromes, color shifting chromes onto the nail a no wipe surface and get a very um, metallic smooth surface. These look better over black so the demos I will be doing are over black. Two coats of black velvet from Le Shop. And there are several ways to mix your pigment. You can um, use any top coat, tackless uh, or tacky, it doesn't matter. Uh, I just prefer using the Gelish. It's got a little more slip to it and for this particular design I like the way it spreads easily but j just to, you can use any top coat that you like. And if you're feeling more creative you can do a, a 3D design and because the magnet is so strong you can use the Builder Gel. Now for this design, um, I'm simply going to mix the pigment in some top coat and then I'm going to drop it into a wet layer and for those tools uh, you can use um, dotting tools or you can use a brush, whichever your preference is. All right, so we'll get our supplies together and I will uh, get ready for the demo. Now I've already mixed a little bit of the um, beauty there on the left and I'm just going to quickly show you. You can see the color shift here in the lid since it's against the black. You have that teal and then the purple. Really gorgeous colors. So I'm just going to scoop out just a little bit of the pigment. And I'll show you an alternate way of applying this pigment that might others might find a little bit easier if they're not quite sure what ratio to mix the pigment. Uh, keep in mind too much pigment uh, per uh, pigment ratio to top coat ratio. You might not get a good cure or it might actually bubble on you so be careful about that or it might cause wrinkles. Um, I would suggest a, a 2 to 1 ratio is what I generally um, recommend. In this case I want this pigment to be a little slipperier so I'm actually adding, uh, the, for that little scoop I'm adding 3 drops of the Gelish top it off and I'm simply going to mix that until it's smooth. And 
All right, once it's smooth and the lumps are out, now we're going to start with our design. Now, I actually did this design in two separate stages, in two um, separate areas, and then I cured it, and then I did the second area. It was easier, uh, and you'll see what I mean when, um, when it comes to applying the pigment into the top coat. Uh, so we're going to lay down some top coat in your preferred design. In this case, I'm just kind of doing a little swooshy area here. Uh, don't want that top coat too thick, and we're not going to cure it. We're going to take our dotting tool or your brush, whichever you prefer to use. We're going to pick up a little of the pigment, and we're simply going to place dots into that wet top coat. And you can see how it spreads very fast. So you don't want to move too slowly in this process when placing those dots, um, depending on the kind of design that you're looking for. Once you get your design the way you like it, now in this case I'm using the original magnet that came with her because I didn't because the uh, bar magnet is so strong. I didn't want it pulling all of the pigment away from the side, so I'm doing a very light, just to give it. A little bit of dimension pull it towards the center just a little bit away from the sides and now I've cured that for the full recommended time and now I'm taking more top coat and applying it around that area but not over it and again the reason I did this is because how quickly those spread and to do an entire nail like that it just would have distorted too much so I'm picking up beauty now and placing the dots in whatever pattern I you might find appealing again working pretty quickly to avoid too much spreading and now that is ready to cure So again, I, I, once I place the magnet over it, uh, I want to get it into the lamp as quickly as possible. The longer you wait, the more that design starts to fuzz out a little bit. Add the top coat, cure it, and your design is done. And you can see how easy that is to do and how beautiful those colors shift on the nail. It's really a gorgeous, gorgeous effect. Now for our second sample here, this is the alternate way of applying your pigment. I did a light coat of the top coat. I do not cure. I've placed a little bit of the uh, chatoyant powder there on my palette and I'm simply picking it up with the brush and now brushing it into that wet layer. And this is if you're going for a more traditional kind of cat eye type look here. And then I'm going to just start experimenting with the magnet. If you lay it flat like this, it pushes those magnetic particles to the side and you're left with uh, more of the black undercoat showing in the center. This is how easy and fun these are to work with. You would simply take your brush, brush over it again if you didn't like what you did. Now I'm going to turn the magnet on the side and you can see it starts to form that line, the traditional cat eye line. And you can switch it over to the side, the other side on that corner and see what kind of design that you'll get. And you can see you get sort of a curved look with this. I particularly like this one. Shows more of that color shift. You can see how easily those pigments move around with this magnet. It's quite a powerful uh, bar magnet. So again, if you're not pleased with your design, you can brush over it. Now I'm using the original magnet, Cat Eye magnet that came with the original chatoyant set. Beautiful effect there. Not quite as strong so it doesn't pull those 
particles up as easily. Now on one of my nail stands, it I dropped it and it uh, the magnet, one of the magnets came out, a little round magnet, and it creates this gorgeous halo effect over the nail with that. So if you have other magnets at home, you can experiment with those to see what effect you get. This particular side of the magnet actually pushes the particles. Push it a little bit more. This can help create a gradient or an ombre effect, pushing the particles towards the bottom part. So you can see how easy it is to play with this once you actually get the powder into that slight wet layer. I like this particular design here, how it waves across the nail like that using the corner of your mat, your bar magnet. And again, don't waste any time. Once you find the design that you like, pop that into the lamp and cure it. And here are the samples that I did showing you the color shift of these beautiful pigments. Really gorgeous designs. I'll show you a couple of others that I did. We have the kind of reptile look. The one on the left is the one I applied the magnet to. The one on the right, I did not apply the magnet to it. Um, I just wanted to show off that teal and color shift of, of each one there. More subtle on the left. Now there's a, um, you can also mat these. It has an interesting effect. It will kind of uh, mute the shifting a little bit, but to me it still has a, a very interesting effect over the shiny option. This one was just again a wet layer application, just placing it with the paintbrush and kind of drawing the lines in a swooping motion. Uh, through the wet gel and here is our matte option there on the left with the design that we demoed and again very interesting effects so I hope you guys have enjoyed the demonstration if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them down at the bottom I'll answer them as soon as I can as always I will leave links to the products that I used in the video I do appreciate everyone's support. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys later.